Hey guys, it's me here, crazy math teacher again. Um, I'm super excited for this lesson, which I know always scares you. Um, but this lesson is going to be a lot of fun. So we're talking about exponential and logarithmic functions. Um, so we're going to talk about properties of logarithms. Do you remember um, what logarithms um, are the inverses of or what they're just like? Logarithms are just like exponents. So the same rules that apply to exponents, we're going to apply to logarithms today. So our objectives are going to be answering the question, how are logarithms rated to exponential models? Uh, we're going to use the properties of logarithms um, using the product, quotient, and power properties. So we're going to multiply, divide, and raise power to a power. And we're going to expand and simplify logarithmic expressions. So for properties of logarithms, um, so do you remember what properties of exponents are? If we have, um, let me just write these down really quick. If we have x to the fourth, plus x cubed, or times, oops, and I gave it away, times x cubed, what do we do with our x's? x to the 4 plus 3, so that's x to the 7th. What if we have um, x to the 5th divided by x squared? We subtract our exponents, x to the 5 minus 2, so that's x cubed. Um, what if we have x squared raised to the 5th power? We multiply our exponents, x to the 2 times 5, which is x to the 10th. Okay, so these same properties of exponents we're going to use with logarithms. Oops, this one. Okay, so for the product property, log base b of m times n means log, of, log base b of m plus log base b of n. So we're doing the opposites. Since m and n are being multiplied, we can separate those two out into two different logarithms and add them together. So products, you add. For quotients, when you have log base b of m divided by n, you can write those as two separate logarithms, log base b of m minus log base b of n. And the power product, log base b of m raised to the n power is n times log base b of m. So what we're doing is the inverse of when we do exponents. So multiplying, raised to a power, dividing, subtract, or subtract, dividing, um, addition, multiplication. So do you understand the correlation? If you know your properties of exponents, your properties of logarithms are going to be the exact opposite. All right, so let's simplify some logarithms. Let's write these as a single logarithm. Log base 4 of 32 minus log base 4 of 2. Now, do we have the same log base? If we have the same log base, then subtract means we do what with our numbers that are on the end? It means we divide. So log base 4 of 32 divided by 2. Can we divide 32 divided by 2? Of course we can. It's log base 4 of 16. Can we simplify log base 4 of 16? Is there 4 raised to some power that makes 16? Yes. The answer is 2. So that's simplified, written as a single logarithm. It actually isn't a logarithm. It's a rational number, too. You can do that, by the way. It's totally awesome. Okay, what about this one? 6 log base 2 of x plus 5 log base 2 of y. Okay, we need to use um, order of operations. So what are we going to do first? Okay, first we're going to have to deal with this um, coefficient that's in front of both of these. Okay, so what do we do with those? Those become our powers, because multiplying means raised to a power. So I have log base 2 of x to the 6th plus log base 2 of y to the 5th. Okay, now we have addition here. So what does that mean when we write these as a single logarithm? It becomes log base 2 of x to the 6th times y to the 5th. Okay, so that's we can't do anything with those x's and y's. So it's log base 2, x to the 6th, y to the 5th. That's our answer. See? Pretty simple. No big deal. Okay, I want you to go ahead and try these two. Um, these are going to be your lesson checks, so I'm not going to go over them. So go ahead, pause your video. I want you to write these each as single logarithms. And go. Okay, did you write them down? Did you do them? You better have. If you didn't, do it now. No, really. Okay. Alright, expanding logarithms. What is each logarithm expanded? 
So we have log of 4x divided by y. Okay, we need to use our um, properties here. So what's happening with um, our log? We have 4x divided by y. Well, dividing means we're going to do what? Subtract. So I have log of 4x minus log of y. Okay, do we have anything else that's happening? Well, we have this 4x here. They're being multiplied together. So to rewrite it, we add. So log of 4 plus log of x minus log of y. Oops, that would be a y and not an x. Okay, pretty simple. Okay, what about this one? Log of 9, x to the 4th, divided by 729. Okay, we have a division, so we're going to subtract. So I have log base 9 of x to the 4th, minus log base 9 of 729. Okay, what else do I have going on? Well, I have this power here. Okay, exponent raised to an exponent, what do we do? We multiply. So I'm going to bring this out front and multiply it. 4 log base 9 of x minus, now 729, is that, you know, a thing? Well, it is a thing. Um, this is 9 cubed. 729 is 9 cubed. So I'm going to rewrite this as log base 9 of 9 cubed. So this becomes just log of 3. So it's 4 log base 9 of x minus log of 3. And that is your answer. Right there. Oh, sorry. Just becomes 3. Not log 3. Because that's how we got rid of it. That was my fault. Okay, these ones. I will also make those um, be your lesson checks. So I want you to pause again. Okay, moving on. Now the change of base formula says for any positive numbers m, b, and c with b not equal to 1 and c not equal to 1, m base b of m is log base c of m divided by log base c of b. So if you need to rewrite um, a log, you can rewrite it with a base um, of those two numbers divided together. Alright, so what's the value of each expression? Log base 81 of 27. Well, to rewrite this, we can rewrite it as log of, we need to find a common base. What's our common base between 27 and 81? I'm pretty sure it's 3. So we need to rewrite it as log base 3 of 27 divided by log base 3 of 81. Okay, and then each part we can reduce because 27 to what power, or 3 to what power makes 27, and 3 to what power makes 81. Well, we just get 3 divided by 4. So that's one way you can do it. For the other way, we can use a calculator. So what you do is you put into your calculator log 27 divided by log 81, and it automatically um, puts in what base would be best, and you get 0.75. Okay, when you do your homework or when you do your test, I want to see your work. Not that you're just a monkey who knows how to put stuff into a calculator. I want to know why it works the way that it does. And moving right along, um, let's do a couple of these. Let's use our change of base formula. So what's the value of each expression? So log base 5 of 36. Um, well, I think that's supposed to be log base 6. Is it? Now I'm confused. Okay, let's change that to a 6. We'll do that one first. Come on. Thingy work. Okay, log base 6 of 36. Well, what base do 6 and 36 have in common? Well, it's obviously 6. So, log of 6, um, log base 6 of 6, divided by log base 6 of 36, we get 1 over 2. One half. Answer. Easy. Okay, what about 8 and 32? Do they have anything in common? They have 2 in common. 
So log base 2 of um, 8 divided by log base 2 of 32. Uh, 2 to what power makes 8? Mm, I'm pretty sure that's 4. 2, 4, 6, 8. Yep. Two. Nope, 2, 4, 8. That's 3. Woo! It's been a day. Um, and to the fifth power is 32. So there's that one. And then um, 4 and 18. Why don't you go ahead and try that one? It's going to be good. Okay. Moving right along here. So using a logarithmic scale um, in chemistry. How many of you are in chemistry? Okay. should be all of you, I think. Okay, the pH of a substance equals the negative log of your hydrogen ions. Um, oh, hey, look where H positive is the concentration of hydrogen ions. I remembered stuff. Okay, so um, hydrogen ions, sub A for household ammonium, is 10 to the negative 11th power. And then um, for the vinegar is 6.3 times 10 to the negative 3rd. So what's the difference of the pH levels of ammonia and vinegar? So difference means we're going to do what? We're going to subtract them. So um, pH is negative log of your positive ions. So you have the negative log of hydrogen minus the negative log of your uh, hydrogen and ammonia, a hydrogen and vinegar. So you're going to subtract the two. So you get negative log. Um, there you go. I just rewrote them. So then you plug each one in. So log of 6.3 times 10 to the negative third minus log of 10 to the negative 11th power. We're going to use our um, properties of logarithms to rewrite that. So a log of 6.3 minus 3 plus 11. You get about 8.8. .8. So the difference between household vinegar and household ammonium is a pH of 8.8, .8, which is pretty substantial because it's from 0 to 14, if I remember correctly. So that's like more than half the distance for pH. It's pretty crazy. It's a big difference. Don't put them both on your skin at the same time. Or ever. That'd be great. Okay. We're done. So your homework is lesson uh, 7-4. I have a worksheet for you to work on now. And then 7-4 um, will be due on Monday. And you also have to watch the 7-5 video, which will be posted later today. All right, see ya. Talk to you later. Bye.